You know, finally tonight, Congressman John Dingell may have retired. If you follow him on social media, he's as active and opinionated as ever. Well, Nolan had a chance to catch up with him recently to reflect on the congressman's efforts to preserve a stretch of the Detroit River called Humbug Marsh and how it is now a part of the Detroit River International Wildlife Refuge. Take a look. We now have one of the great fishing resources in the world, walleyes. Uh, the sturgeon are coming back. Uh, whitefish, we will see the whitefish returning. They're catching, they're catching rainbow trout out in the river. And the uh, refuge continues, continues to grow because it has the support of the people who do what has to be done to make a refuge a successful and a popular instrument of public enjoyment. This is something that I cherish. This is something that I did for me, but I did it for these people. And I did it for these people because they knew how it was to be done and what had to be done. And they knew how to support it and how to help me to get the support of my colleagues to move forward towards a cleaner, better, healthier, richer, happier America. It's good to see Congressman Dingell. So you got to spend a little bit of time for yeah, him. And it's know. good to hear the story behind Humbug Marsh as well. And we think about all the things that he's, he's done in terms of, of Congress. You ask him what he's most proud of, and he says saving that river, because it's not just the marsh, it's the whole stretch on both sides of the river that are now covered by this wildlife refuge. Yeah, yeah it's really amazing down there. Have you had a chance to get down there? I have been down there, yeah. uh, and it's it's remarkable. And if you think about what it would be if not for this, right? Yeah. Think of the, the, the well, we know what damage it was. we've mm -hmm. done to the river. Or there's some kinds there. of development Otherwise. we might have seen down well, there. Well, and yeah. that's what, you know, he stepped in because this was going to be a golf course, a mm -hmm. luxury um, condominiums and what have you. But it, before John Dingle passed or got past the Clean Water Act, that river, I mean, the fish in that river, you would never yeah. think about it. There were hardly any fish in the river. Yeah. Did, uh, you didn't uh, get a chance to talk to him a little about politics, did you know, while you were uh, hanging <laughs> around with him? He's got to read his know, Twitter but, account I mean, to see what he thinks. I know. He's still very, very engaged. I mean, yeah. for 91, he's 91. Yeah. Physically, he's struggling, you know, as a lot of people that age would. But. Yeah. And nothing wrong with his mind. Yeah, it's, it's definitely good to see him. Hey, we were going to talk about um, attracting teachers to DPS. Mm -hmm. I know they have a job fair uh, coming up this week. They've got a little over 200 positions to fill. We're going to talk about that coming up next week, take a look at maybe some of the numbers that they were able to get there and the fact that there's a 7% um, pay raise. But finally, you know, the Dream Cruise rolls into town this week. And if you've been anywhere near Woodward, you've seen a lot of classics already cruising up and down for the last few weeks of summer. The Dream Cruise is the world's largest one-day automotive event celebrating cars of all kinds on Saturday. Saturday, August 19th. Here at Detroit Public TV, you can catch our live Dream Cruise special tonight at 8 p.m. right after my week. So um, are you planning to do any cruising at all, uh, Nolan, or going out there and, and car, uh, car gazing, I like uh, to call it? Probably not. This take your fold-up chair and uh, just uh, sit it down You know, I usually do go out um, on a Friday night, or and some, oftentimes we sponsor events on Saturday. I don't know if yeah. I'll get out there or not. Yeah. Okay. Stephen, what about you? Uh, I think, uh, uh, so the Dream Cruise is one of my favorite things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out there all the time. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for my week. Thanks so much for joining us. We will be back <laughs> next Thursday, call. but until yeah. then, catch up with us on Twitter and on Facebook at myweek.org. For all of us at Detroit Public TV, I'm Christy <laughs> McDonald. We will see you next time. Take care. Thanks for being so honest. I'm sorry. I usually